This is History Animated. Muhammad di Patuan Kudarat. About 15 years ago, in 1581, after the Spanish arrivals in the Philippines, Muhammad di Patuan Kudarat, or better known as Sultan Kudarat, was born. He came from the family of Sharif Kabungsuan, a Muslim missionary who brought Islam to the Philippines between the 13th and the 14th centuries. He became Sultan at the age of 39 after he succeeded his father's throne as a Sultan when his father died. During the nearly 52 years of ruling the Sultanate of Maguindanao, he was a wise and a brave leader. And during his reign, the power of Maguindanao's Sultanate was at its peak. His domain has already covered the expanse of nine provinces, namely Lanao del Norte, Lanao del Sur, Maguindanao, Cotabato, South Cotabato, Sultan Kudarat, Sarangani, Zamboanga Zibugay, and Zamboanga del Sur. Moreover, Sultan Kudarat also had some ties with the Sulu Sultanate when he became the son-in-law of Sultan Mawalil Wasid after he married the daughter of Sultan Wasid. Sultan Kudarat's fame and influence were not just confined within his domain. He was also widely known and respected in the ancient Sulu Sultanate as far as Sabah. This video is sponsored by Huyon, the global leader in creative tablets manufacturing. It's also a major influence in creating a widespread awareness of the Islamic religion among Muslims living in the various sultanates, which extended as far as the Moluccas. He also had access to the international trades in the Philippines, in which the sultanate traded with the Dutch and Chinese, where they exchanged their slaves and rice with wares and weapons. Also during his reign, he successfully conquered those Spanish colonists who wanted to invade his land and prevented the spread of Christianity on the island of Mindanao. And at that time, the Philippines was still under Spanish colonization.